Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, AccuPlacer Review, Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra and Statistics, Problem 6. This is Problem 6. It says the amount of money that David earns is represented by the formula M equals 14.5H plus 13, where H is the number of hours that he worked. Which one of the following represents the number 13 in the equation? Is it A, the amount of money David earns each hour? B, the total amount of money David earns in H hours? C, the amount of money David earns working one hour? Or D, the amount of money David earns in addition to an hourly wage? Well, for something like this, if, if you can see it, that's great. You can you know, go right to the answer. If you can't, what I like to do is just do a few things. How much money does he make in one hour, two hours, three hours? And you kind of get the gist of it, and you'll see which one it is. So let me take the formula that's given for his um, how much money he earns. M is 14.5H plus 13. H is the number of hours. M is how much money he makes. How much is he going to make in one hour? So you put in a 1 for H. So M equals 14.5 H is really 14.5 times H, where there's no operation clearly indicated. Um, it's implied that it's a multiply. So 14.5 H means 14.5 times H. So it'll be 14.5 times 1 when you work 1 hour plus 13. 14.5 times 1 is 14.5. You can add 13 to it, so you get 27.5. So if he works for an hour, he's going to make $27.50. $27 what happens if he works for two hours? Put in a 2 for H. So 14.5 times H becomes 14.5 times 2 if he works for two hours, plus 13. So now 14.5 times 2, well, you're going to double it. You're going to get 29. And you get 29 plus 13, which is 42. So in two hours, he makes $42. Um, and you could do more, but you kind of see the pattern here, and you can start to eliminate stuff. So let's go back to our options. The amount of money that David earns each hour. Well, each hour, he's actually earning $14.5. That's how much he earns each hour. H is the, for how many hours? It's not A. Uh, B, the total amount of money that he earns in H hours. Um, could it be that? Is that what the 13 is? Well, he's not always making $13 no matter how many hours he works. So it's not that. That's what it would be saying. It, the, it's asking, what does the 13 represent? Does it represent the total amount of money he makes for how many hours? Is he always making $13 even if he works like 60 hours? No, it can't be that one. C, the amount of money that David earns working one hour. Could that be what the 13 is? Well, if he works for one hour, he gets $27.50, which is not 13. So it's not C either. It has to be D, process of elimination. It says D, the amount of money David earns in addition to an hourly wage. That's the one. So what you do is you put in the number of hours that he works, multiply it times 14 and a half, whatever the result you get, then you add 13. It's money that he earns in addition to an hourly wage. So the correct answer for question six is option D.